werden Filmaufnahmen gemacht. Worum handelt es sich? Der weltberühmte, jetzt 82-jährige Fotograf Alfred Eisenstedt, in Berlin geboren und aufgewachsen, emigrierte aus uns wohlbekannt Gründen 1936 nach Amerika, kehrt nun nach 45 Jahren zum ersten Mal nach Deutschland zurück. Germany, the country of my birth. How do I feel being here? Interested, excited, uncertain. When I was last here, I couldn't have imagined myself photographing in a church on Good Friday. But times have changed. I love my work and I work every day. A machine has to run, smooth, has to be oiled. And that's the reason I'm working all the time. If I don't work for a few days, I don't feel happy. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's enough for today. Now come the push-ups. I've done 32 push-ups, uh, but now I'm doing only five after this. In this, my body has to be absolutely straight. Have you always uh, been in good physical condition? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm a health bug. <laughs> Alfred Eisenstadt, age 83. In 50 years as a photographer, he has seen and captured the most interesting and most important people, places, and events of the 20th century. His work has appeared not only in Life magazine, but also in every other major photographic journal. Nine books of his pictures have been published, and this film documents the making of his tenth. Said Life magazine publisher Henry Luce, he is an inspired witness to our time. What I am is a photojournalist. Now, what is a photojournalist, really? It's someone who records what he sees, people, events, moments in time. If I do my job extremely well, some might say that I'm an artist. But I wouldn't say that. An artist creates an image in his mind. What I do is try to capture reality. I am more or less a documentary photographer. Wie heißt dieses? Was ist das? Ist das griechisch? Römisch. 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 Aber das ist schon. Was ist das? Das ist eine Leihgabe aus amerikanischem Privatbesitz. Ja. Und darf nicht fotografiert werden. Ich habe nur fotografiert, diese Dame zeichnen. Das habe ich fotografiert. Komm sehr. Sie können sie selbst. Sie sehen sie es an. Sehen Sie es auch schon. Und drehen Sie es so rum. Ist gut. Gut, danke sehr. Gut, ja. Natürlich. Schön. I always choose to work alone. I'm not a very large person, and so it is not too difficult for me to fade into the background. And that's how I like it. For to photograph truly candid pictures, people must not know you are there. 
Ich nehme keine großen auf, große Aufnahmen von Bildern auf. Ich nehme nur das Museum auf und einige Leute, die da vorstehen und sich die Bilder ansehen. Ich fotografiere das Milieu, die Leute. Wenn Sie zum Beispiel jetzt ein Buch über München rausbringen oder ein Kapitel über München und schreiben das Haus der Kunst, da ist die Sammlung drüben von der neuen Staatsgalerie ja. viel wichtiger als die Ausstellungen drüben, nicht die ständig wechseln. Kommen Sie zur Tür, ich will Ihnen zeigen, was ich gerne fotografiere. Ja, das würde. müsste ich schon, ich muss auf jeden Fall nicht. Das Text zwei Minuten. Sehen Sie? So, ich, würde machen. Also ich würde es nicht machen, wenn die Leute hergucken. Ja, ja, schon. Sind wir so etwas sagen, würde ich machen hier. Sie verstehen das unser alles. Problem schon. Ich meine, das, ja, das ist alles. Ich habe es schon gemacht. Mhm. Ja, aber jetzt, ich meine, mit der Kamera wird da jetzt auch noch was aufgenommen, oder nicht? Nur, es nein, nur nein, die nein, Person. Nein, die fotografieren mich. Mhm. Ich Und die fotografieren mich. Wir sind auch noch da. Also wir äh, bleiben dann dabei. Danke, vielen Dank. Danke sehr. Alles ist gut. I had have difficulties, really only difficulties. I mean, not aversion. Difficulties with one human being that was Ernest Hemingway. Hemingway was sitting with, with Mary, his wife in the patio, and I was standing there with a tripod, 30 tripod, or not so sturdy, a 4 by 5 camera. He was sitting about 10 or 15 feet away, drinking spiced water. <laughs> spiced water. And I wanted yeah. to take some portraits of him. But he was surrounded by 33 cats. Two dogs were with him and a wife, Mary. And those cats came and rubbed their bodies on the tripod in my legs, and I had to dance in front of him, and dance in front of him, and then debate the cats like this. And he came to me slowly. Don't you like cats? <laughs> What did you say? I have to think fast. <laughs> you know, with Hemingway, you have always to think before you say anything. Yes, I love cats, but when the cats rub their bodies on the tripod, they change the focusing of my camera. He understood this, chased them away, and everything was fine. Live picture editor, Wilson Hicks, told me in 1938, Alfred, I'm going to send you to Hollywood to photograph all these movie queens. And the only, uh, uh, the only advice I can give you, don't be in awe of anybody. Don't be in awe of the movie queens, he said. You are a king in your profession, and I've never forgotten it. So when I go to photograph famous people, I'm never in awe. I see them only as people. And I think that shows in my photographs. Eisen said. I've been seeing a few Bilder from him, heard, seen, and so many that I wrote. I think it's really good. We're making a test. Yes, too far. Too far, Mr. Carl. Carl, please come back. Ein bisschen zurück in Karen, zurück! Okay, jetzt habt ihr sie den Karen drin. Jetzt schiebt ihr den Karen weiter. Alles fertig? Danke. Okay. Wunderbar, alles fertig. Werner Rainer Fassbinder ist ein großer junger Direktor hier. Und just like in Hollywood. Directors can be either easy to shoot or impossible. Fassbender is a letter. Damn it. He tried to avoid me. 
Probieren wir es mal rein technisch. Ihr seid mit dem Karren um die Ecke, bitte. Rum. He wants to stand still for one second. Sprechen und Sie haben das Buch hier. Und okay. das, äh, können wir das bestellen? Das ist ja. So, das ist in einem Licht. Sehen Sie mich nicht an. Sie zeigen, was, was, wenn Sie zeigen hier etwas anderes, wie man das zu machen. I get along wonderful with women. I don't know whether I don't have, I don't I don't look too impressive, but they all like me because I, I am nice to them, they're nice to me. They probably like me. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether I have sex appeal. I have no idea. The first assignment to photograph in Hollywood was in 1938. It was at that time when women started to wear slacks and they looked just most sexy and wonderful. You know, I, I looked at every woman passing. They, I've never seen this before. This just came out at that time. Whether I'm photographing famous women or not so famous women, or anybody for that matter, there are often difficulties. And I never know in advance what I'm going to see. Alexander, and by dear see dein gang is this half schlecht, while deine Schuhe zu groß sind. For instance, when I arrived at that local modeling school, they were not women as I expected. They were just young girls, shy and full of giggles. But it is my job to take good pictures anyhow, to make them alive, to give them a sense of quality. A reality of honesty. Yeah, so it was. With an hand. No, no, so feel better. Come see, bisschen here. Ich kann das. Sie sind sehr gut. Alles ist sehr gut. Wir dann einmal das hat es genommen. Ja, ich finde es einfach so gut. People have asked me, how did I learn this, my craft? Well, I'm not so sure. After all, when I started, photography wasn't really a craft at all. It wasn't even a job. When I started being paid for my photographs, I was earning a living as a belt and button salesman. And I was so bad, I wasn't good at all. I hated myself. I, I, I couldn't sell, you know. I'm not, I'm not a salesman. I was always more or less artistically inclined. And one day, it was end of November, I remember this. The bosses said to me, Look, you are so bad. I say, I know it that I'm bad, naturally. Uh, in three days, you have to decide whether you would, would continue with us or take up. How is that called, what you're doing? I said, I'm taking pictures, photography. I remember that I photographed only with large glass plates and printout paper until a friend of mine or an acquaintance of mine showed me how to enlarge. And this was the moment where the photo bug bit me. I developed those in our bathroom. 
to the consternation of my parents who couldn't go to the bathroom for hours. I didn't have an exposure meter and people had to sit still and when they moved, the, I had to do it over again. But I took only one picture. When they moved, I had to take two pictures. Yes, compared to today, it's unbelievable. In 1925, I went to Johannesburg in Bohemia and I saw a woman tennis player around 4 p.m. that I photographed it. I brought this picture to a photo magazine and they liked that picture very much, said, we will give you th uh, 12 marks. This is the equivalent of about uh, $3. He said, I had no idea. You mean you can sell pictures and make money with photography? He said, of course. And he says, why don't you bring us more like pictures like that? 1930, 1931, I'm not sure, the uh, Editor of the uh, Berlin Illustrated asked me to go to St. Moritz, Switzerland, to photograph society and the goings on in that fashionable place. And so I asked him, I had no idea, what do I do there? And he said, you, know, you photograph anything you see worthwhile, very nice. And if you come back with a picture where snow looks like sugar, the trip would be worthwhile. I asked the head waiter to show me how he serves drinks to some guests. As I had only a large camera, a reflex camera, two a quarter, three a quarter with glass plates with me, I put this chair in here to focus. As you see, when the waiter passed here, I clicked the shutter. The chair was only put up there that I can focus but it adds to the, uh, to the picture because otherwise everything would have been white. Today, those glass splits are just a memory. Now I work with very light equipment, a Leica, a Nikon, some lenses, maybe a tripod. So I'm still not equipment crazy. I'm crazy, maybe, but not about my equipment. That's how I travel. Why plastic bags? But where should I put those? The equipment doesn't do the trick. The most important thing in photography is still the eye. Mm. Will always be the eye. Even in 10 years, when we probably don't work with cameras anymore, mm -hmm. when we push a button and everything is, um, is let's say, on tape, mm -hmm. you still need the eye. This picture was taken about five months after the bomb fell in Hiroshima. I found this woman rummaging through her former house and asked her whether she would pose for me. And this is a posed picture. I found the spot and asked her to sit there. After I photographed them and said goodbye, she bowed very low again and I must say, uh, tears came to my eyes because uh, I'm a rather emotional man. I, I, I was shocked and, and, and very distressed to see such um, tragedy. While I was in Japan, I covered also the indictment of all the Japanese war criminals. When they were brought from Sugami prison, I wanted a picture of Toyo and in some moments it happened that I can't work with my brain. I have to have a shortcut between my eyes and my fingertips. And I said to him, and I, in, in a thousand of a second I said, do I say General Tojo? What did I say? I said, hey Tojo, look at me. And he looked for one second, one picture with a roller flex. In 1951, life asked me to cover the the British election. I traveled with him. When we came to Liverpool, he fell almost asleep on a dice. Randolph, Randolph Churchill's son, tapped him on the shoulder, did this, and up he shot. <laughs> Wide eyed. He was sitting like this. <laughs> That's the picture I took. One picture, not two pictures, one picture, like this. The whole world has changed since the Second World War, and everything is now so different. And yet, funny, 
I'm still a photographer, still searching for the right moment to take that one absolutely perfect picture. Come in. Oh my Hello. God! <laughs> Vote on! Oh, I see no It's Lohengrin, you know. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> I God. changed the name. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I hate to sing in the morning. <laughs> you are the, the best uh, photographing and how hairdresser I ever saw. <laughs> Now really do it. The Germany I see today is different from the Germany I knew as a young man. As a photographer, I've witnessed it, and as a person, I have felt it. I have an idea that Germany has really changed, I mean, in, in thinking. The youth uh, is, is very, very, very different from the youth I knew. At that time, everything was very regimented. My goodness, I remember when I went to school and the teacher came to classroom, we had to get up, stood up almost at attention. It was absolutely uh, impossible, unthinkable, that any employee or anybody spoke to the boss with a cigarette in his hand or a cigarette in his mouth or put his hands in their pockets. It's impossible. Everything was very regimented. Today, I'm comfortable here and able to work as I normally do. I have come back to Germany to do a special assignment, to take pictures for my 10th book, possibly my last. Remember, this was also my home. So coming back here is a personal thing to me, especially after all that's happened. It has been at least 50 years since I left this place. You probably think that I wouldn't remember much, but I do. I remember it all with incredible clarity, like it was yesterday. Here is where I grew up. It's all different. It's all changed. But somehow, it's all the same. I liked it here. This is where I learned the old traditional values, order, obedience, being on time. I was a good boy, and I'm still on time, always. But life was very different then, and I never dreamed that I would spend the rest of my days as a photographer. This is it, this is it. This was my home. The picture I'm going to take of my home. I don't know. Maybe it will be just for me alone. When I was last here, Germany was one country and Berlin was one city. But times have changed. Much has happened. 
I am not a very political person. And whatever political feelings I may have, I never let them interfere with my job. I have been a photographer for more than half a century. I have seen so many people, so much of the world, so much history. I have seen beauty, ugliness, joy, sorrow, war, and peace. And I wish I had been born 200 years ago so that I could have photographed 200 years, not just 50. If I were born again, I would choose again to be a photographer. And if God grants me good health, I shall continue to be a photographer until I die.